And people who say that the border is not in crisis, I tell you this. In 2020, the total encounters on the southwest border is 646,000. This year, 3.2 million. Five times what we saw during last year of Trump administration. Court orders, court, court orders are years out, but this administration is counting on it. You overflow the system. It'll push these court dates back seven, eight years. And what's going to happen? Mark my word. When they finally get order removal seven years down the road, they'll have a USC child. They'll have two USC children. And they'll get phone calls from, you know, the director of ICE will get phone calls from the Hill saying, why'd you remove that person with two USC kids? Well, he didn't have two USC kids when he entered the country legally. He, so now that he has two USC kids, he, he's immune from the law. The court order means nothing. So here's what I'm looking for. If, if for people who demand these people have a right to claim asylum, they have a right to due process, I agree. But due process doesn't mean anything if the final decision of the courts is not executed and people aren't removed. So if it takes five or six years, they still must be removed or the system means nothing.